Hello everyone, nice to meet you. Uh, I would like to present a structure that I've been working on for many years. It is a structure which is, uh, I call it the power flower. It's uh, on one infinite flow of uh, power or energy flowing around in, uh, infinitely, like this, in circles. And so uh, this structure, it uh, makes it possible to have, uh, with such material, you can make a bigger shelter. And uh, in that way, I would like to make a greenhouse here, where uh, I can grow my own food, but also as a model, so I can show other people how this structure is uh, actually working. And uh, I have some uh, more examples of the structure. Here is actually uh, the one that uh, the structure how I want to make it at the greenhouse. It says uh, one in the center, and then it has seven steps: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's also on the T-shirt. Here it is in colors: red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Purple divided, and then it goes back by the green, yellow, orange, red, and it continues infinitely like this. And so, uh, yes, uh, I have also another example here of the same structure. This is a, a wristband that a friend made for me. Here you can see how this is all one infinite material, and if you put it like this, then you can see how the pentagram is in the center, and also around my neck it has the same structure, where there is uh, five hearts interwoven into one infinite spin. I call this an infinite spin in finite because the golden mean ratio, as you can see here, how it is in golden mean proportion, this to this, to this, to this, to this, to this, to this, it's a phi ratio uh, proportion, and uh, that is uh, the way nature also uh, works, it is the, the formula of uh, creation, one could say, and you can find this in uh, pine cones, in pineapples, in every budding flower, uh, everywhere around in nature this structure is uh, represented, and so uh, that's another way of making this in harmony with nature, and I uh, suspect the food will grow very good, the plant inside it because they're in some shape that is resonating with their own shapes. And so, uh, also in this model, you can see how the same structure is there, but now there's here these five uh, rooms around, you can say. This could be a model for a way of living together in harmony, where here, can house the food, and uh, here the people are living around, and so are uh, living together in harmony, and being able to sustain themselves, and so this is a self-sustainable structure in harmony with creation, where uh, people and nature are living together, and it's also self-sustainable because the structure itself is sustaining itself because it's like a serpent going around, weaving and then biting itself in the tail from the point where it's back. And so, uh, self-sustainability is what it's all about, but uh, I can't uh, sustain myself uh, completely. We are living in harmony with nature and our surroundings and our environment, and also that means that I can't do it all alone. And so uh, I've tried to with my funding to really make it happen, but in some circumstances uh, I have not succeeded uh, to uh, manage that. And now I found a place where uh, the garden here, 14 meter diameter.
cloudy now, so the top is not really visible. So, uh, and so uh, yes, uh, here is where I would like to spend a found a place now where I can do that. Uh, the owner of the house will be used this land, and then we will share the harvest together with his wife, and we all work together to make it uh, work out. from the plastic cube, it will be the cheapest greenhouse available in the world, which can be of benefit to many people.